guys i am back with another mother flipping video and if you can't tell already by the title of this video and if you actually have been watching my videos then you'll know this is a reaction video anyways um today i will be reacting to a tea spill video um the channel is actually called spill sesh uh, as always i will leave the link down below to if you want to watch the original video that i will be watching in this video reacting to and giving my opinions on i picked from the glorious options that i had i chose the video titled nikocado avocado getting bullied oompa oompa oompaville in trouble that's what's in that's the title anyways how about we just get straight into the video okay yeah here we go Nick Okado Avocado found himself getting a lot of love recently because of the series of videos he's been doing with the YouTuber named Caleb, who runs the channel Oopaville. Caleb made several videos criticizing Nick and reacted to his mukbangs, and he got so curious about Nick, he decided to pay him a ton of money, fly him out, and ask him to film videos with him. And Nick agreed because he wanted to make a ton of money, and it ended up being a pretty good choice in the beginning. Nick was breaking character in these videos, and fans of Caleb who originally didn't like Nick and judged Nick ended up actually liking him and found him really interesting and funny in the videos that they made together. They felt like they were seeing this real side of Nick. I'm pause it real quick. Um, if you guys don't already know who Nick Okado Avocado is, he is a YouTuber who was once actually a vegan YouTuber and was a raw vegan only ate vegan stuff when he was very um underweight and not healthy he said he was like losing teeth and his bones are very brittle because due to being a raw vegan so that's why he said he needed to go back to eating meat and change his lifestyle again but once he started eating meat um his life kind of just went down the drain i guess you could say life um his weight just went down the drain and he is actually very unhealthy now and not healthy at all unfortunately i feel very bad for him because i did actually used to watch him when he first started youtube i was actually a fan of his and now i don't watch his videos because all of them are the same very repetitive he um fakes um arguments and dv with his significant other in videos just to get views and he also doesn't try to be healthy he doesn't try to help himself by getting you know any kind of like um surgery or like a weight loss journey you know what i'm saying so personally i feel like he is gonna probably die at a very young age due to him being very unhealthy and not trying to save himself now while he can i don't even think he's 30 years old yet so it's pretty sad but yeah, just that's just a kind of rundown on who Nikocado Avocado is. I personally don't know who um, Oompaville is. I don't watch him. I've seen maybe one of his videos or two, but I don't actually like watch him and nor am I subscribed to him. So this is kind of like my first time hearing about him. But I think he does a lot of um, like reaction and like podcast videos. So yeah. The side that isn't this made up character that he is always like screaming and yelling and being super dramatic. The moments where he was breaking character and people felt like that was the real Nick, they loved it and they begged Caleb to continue making content with Nick. And he listened. He invited Nick to visit once again, but this time they were taking things a step further. They decided to start a podcast together and people went nuts for it. They loved this idea. They thought it was going to be the next frenemies since. The two of them seemed to balance each other out, although very different. People liked them together. It was entertaining. But just like Frenemies, it was also unpredictable what would happen between them and how long they would get along for. People were worried Nick was never going to come back for another episode because he really didn't want to talk about his health and things like that. He didn't want to feel judged. He just wanted to be funny and talk about other things rather than just hear criticism about himself. And during that first podcast, Caleb did try and say that Nick should get healthy and things like that. And people were worried about his health. And he seemed to not want any part of that conversation. Everybody Word wanted essence. me to give you an intervention, right? That's the whole That's the whole idea because it can't. we can't just keep milking it forever. Oh, yeah, you can. can. The whole idea is I thought you'd be more mad, honestly, because like you're staying with me 
Yeah, so basically, Nikocado Avocado's whole persona is him, like, eating unhealthy and arguing with his significant other. Like, he does nothing but that on his channel. And it's like, you can't do that for the rest of your life. I mean, you can, but is it healthy in any way, shape, or form? No, it's not. So it's like, I feel like I hope one day that he does realize what he's doing is not for the best of him. Um... And it would be best if he actually started his weight loss journey now before it, before it gets too late. You know what I'm saying? So, my son wants to come and watch the little video. Also, um, I wanted to do a disclaimer that I will be starting a podcast soon once I have the right setup. So, stay tuned for that. Keep a lookout. I'm going, we're I'll try going not to, to pause the video so much. We're going to force you You're not doing any of this. Yes, I'm going to make You're you not. food. Brussels, have you ever had a Brussels sprout? When was the last time you had a vegetable? Be honest. So people weren't sure if a second episode was actually going to happen, but it ended up happening. But now the thing is, viewers of this podcast seem to think that Caleb has gone too far with Nick, and he's actually bullying Yeah, that him was now. rude, no cap. In the second episode together, people just were not happy with what they were seeing. They felt like Caleb was going too far, making Nick feel uncomfortable, laughing at him, not listening to him, and they didn't let Caleb's team either. The two people that I haven't he hired seen that podcast to work yet. on the podcast, they felt as though the two guys were being rude to Nick as well. The podcast started off with Nick saying that like he that. almost didn't even come back to do the second episode, but him and Caleb worked things out, wow. and he came back, and it did seem like he was happy to be there. He was excited to do this episode, which makes it sad when it comes to how he was treated throughout that episode. Nick is back! He's back in the house. And you know what's crazy? What? I almost did not come back. Like, for real. Actually. For real, for real. Like, legitimately. And they have no idea, and we... Because we were texting, we're like, this would have been great for the actual frenemies type of vibe thing. We're like, no, we can't hand this out. So, you know, it went down a little bit, but I'm still here. From there, the crew and Kayla begin to fat shame Nick pretty much the entire episode, and it's really sad to watch. I feel unhealthy being around Nick. You're wearing off on us. I'm the heaviest I've ever been. You fat. Great. So, if you ever see me in public, stay far away. Apparently, I'm very contagious. I'm going to make you blow up. <laughs> like, a, like uh, you ever seen Big Trouble in Little China? When the guy gets really <laughs> mad, he, he defeats him in battle, and he goes, ah! And he just, <laughs> that's you. You know, two and three years. I disagree. But you got to lose weight, though. We discussed this in the last podcast. I'm not losing weight. All right. Uh, Left and right, they were coming for Nick, constantly making comments about how he looked, and he had a good attitude about this whole thing, despite how they were talking about him, and I think that's the part that resonated with people that were watching it. All the viewers and most of the comments, they were talking about how good of a sport Nick was through all of this, despite the fact that the three people in the room with him were being so rude. Well, I feel like if I had 400 pounds weighing on my feet for a couple years, I'd probably have bigger feet too. To be honest. Again, it's swelling. It's mostly swelling. Oh my god. That's you when the gland when your glands quit working. <laughs> this is legit <laughs> bullying. That's so sad. Like yeah, he's laughing, but I'm sure that he's actually hurt. Like Oh my god. Oop. I'm sweating. Oop. <laughs> like imagine how insecure Fine. he is. I'm just I'm just I right, get that off the screen. I'm just fat. That's <laughs> get that off the screen. That's too funny looking. I mean, later they're literally talking about celebrities who have had work done, and Caleb made a comment that Nick didn't love, and people really felt like there was zero respect for Nick in this episode. You could use some work. Shh! You guys, I, I actually want to quit. I actually want to quit. I'm just teasing. I'm just teasing. I love... I have a great deal of respect for you. No, you don't. I do. No, you don't. It gets worse when later on they decide to have Nick react to H3 talking about him because, of course, Ethan reacted to their first episode that Caleb and Nick did together. And in that episode, Nick touched on the reasons why he never went on the H3 podcast. And he said it was because he was uncomfortable about things that Ethan was saying about him online. He was revealing personal things. He was shaming him. And he felt like if he went on H3, he would have been, like, ganged up on by the crew. There would just be, like, too many people in the room. And he didn't really want to have to talk about his weight and his body and how he looked. And he felt like that's all that Ethan was curious about. And as much as Nick did not want to talk about Ethan in this episode, they were reacting to what Ethan had to say about Nick. 
and you could tell Nick just was really upset. He didn't think it was necessary for Ethan to even comment further about them never having met up, but they showed what Ethan said, and Ethan did not have the nicest things to say about Nick. It all kind of fell apart because I was doing a bunch of videos about him on the Ethan Klein channel, and I thought we were joking around. We were lightfully ribbing each other because, let's face it, he doesn't take himself seriously at all. He walks around in a tiny shirt with his stomach out. He's playing this over-the-top character. He doesn't take himself oh, seriously. He's doing it, for views. it goes on to say once again that he did not like the way that Ethan made fun of him before they were supposed to meet. He's still an he felt actual like he was person. A professional, and his feelings were really hurt. He was genuinely talking about how he felt about the things that Ethan was saying about him and why he didn't want to go on that show. And as he was opening up and being kind of real, he was being raw and real. Caleb was kind of half listening, making jokes, and fans noted this and did not like how he was not listening to Nick and taking him seriously. Let's let's back up two more spots. So he's gonna say that it was just playful back and forth. Yeah. There was nothing playful about saying that I need stenches in my heart, saying that I'm so fat I'm gonna need a defibrillator. In all this stuff, going through my private pages of my kids <laughs> and saying, disgusting yeah, why would you Bio, do that gross laughing about it for minutes on end it was mortifying and then saying that my back door looks like a cow did you know that i've done all that too they were inviting me i understand onto the, context, the show in right? a, a professional capacity it's different right a professional capacity yeah whatever you did did years ago was years ago it was not playful but i had i said nothing nothing to that degree about him nothing right. and everything i said was a reaction to him right it was defensive so number one number two I'm yes on your side nick my my belly is popping out but it is what it is just... you just dyed your hair a bunch of different colors purple blue pink you try to get views based off, off, off your hair I disagree with them. Huh? Oh. Kayla then started i paused the video because i wanted to say a couple things um I really feel like it, no matter what a person shows himself like on the internet, like how they pursue themselves to be on the internet, how they present themselves, like there's always a human being behind it, no matter like whatever actions they do show like on camera to the social media, what they want them to see, even if it's just him being like, you know, goofy all the time and never really like taking his self serious and like all that. He's still a human and he has insecurities just like everybody else. And to sit there and pick and poke at someone's insecurities is just wrong. Yeah. Take Ethan's side and defend Ethan and it really upset Nick. This man attacked my weight. Imagine this. You didn't just attack my weight. You went through my nudes and told everyone how disgusting I am. That's not just saying, oh, he's a little chubby. I can't think of a worse thing to say about someone in their weight can you yeah. how do you say something worse than their fat i said you look like an abyssal horror <laughs> <laughs> i don't remember i don't remember that but we're friends Where? i mean we're not yeah. friends we're not we're not friends no, it's not a friend uh, i'm doing this for money i've been very transparent about, transparent about it i'm on his side but he's brushing it <laughs> <laughs> let's keep going i might switch it was super clear that Nick did not want to be talking about Ethan at all and this was just really upsetting to him because he knows that Ethan will obviously be responding to them talking about him once again and he didn't want to be in any drama. And when Nick seems to be done with the conversation, the episode literally just ends. Like, no goodbye, no nothing. The show ends. You're gross. We can move on if you'd like. So it was a ride of an episode, that is for sure. And there were a lot of people reacting to it. And they had a lot to say, especially to Caleb. They said, mad bully vibes for real. Upa showed us true colors in this episode. Exactly what Nick said he was nervous about on the Ethan show is exactly what happened in this episode. Caleb and the team gained up on him and gaslit him. Props to Nick for showing so much patience. 
grace and respect shame on caleb and team i thought after the first episode this had real potential but after seeing how oop continued to joke slash meme through nick's serious conversations and trivialize nick's emotions i really don't think this will go on for long unless he reads the comments and changes his tune during the next episode i was really looking forward to these episodes I honestly felt really frustrated and bad for Nick in this episode. He was actually trying to talk serious and y'all were straight up making fun of him the entire time. His boundaries matter too and I hope you guys do better if he decides to come back for another episode of this podcast. We care about what you have to say, Nick. Caleb and his pals gave me high school bully vibes in this video. Nick came across as genuine. Fair play to him for handling this episode with grace. I don't think I would bother doing another if I was him. So I really wonder if they will get together for another episode. And hopefully if they do, Caleb takes a lot of these comments into consideration because people loved them together and liked their content, but he went way too far in this episode trying to be funny for jokes. And it's not fun when it's hurtful and hopefully things change. So that's what's going on between these two. Let me know what you guys think and if they will return for another episode in the comments below. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys. <laughs> Okay, so that's the end of that video. Like, I'm going to say my final thoughts and close out this video. I really feel like that during that podcast, Nick actually felt some type of way every time they did make a comment towards him and his weight. Like, of course, like, he's heard it a million times or whatever because it's clear, you know, when you look at him that he's not the healthiest person on earth. But it that doesn't mean, like, it's okay to make fun of somebody just because everyone else does it you know and he's known for because of how much he weighs and him wearing a small shirt and blah 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 but bullying still is playing a factor when you're picking and poking like I said at somebody's insecurities because deep down you just never know what they're really thinking and they could one day just not want to hear all those comments anymore you know um so I just feel like in that like podcast all of them were just like yeah like she was saying like bullying like him and it just it wasn't right it wasn't right and i feel like it was really wrong of him to treat him like a little kid because he went on there trying to be professional and actually you know make money and like sit there and talk to him and do a podcast for people to watch and listen and i feel like they just kind of took advantage of him and made fun of him instead of actually like treating him like a regular person um yeah so if you do want to go watch that video that i just watched um i'll leave it down below i'll leave the link so you guys can click on it and go straight to it and if you haven't already subscribe to my channel that'll help me out so much and i appreciate all the support and if you haven't and if you did like this video then hit that like button but if you didn't like the video then hit that dislike button lets me know what kind of videos to really give you guys so yeah, um, I'll leave all my social medias also down below in the description to follow me on my Instagram and my TikTok. Those are the only two social medias I have. And um, thanks if you stay to the end of this video. I really appreciate it. Like I said, I love you guys. Toodles. Bye.